the work I did for this show was kind of like dreamlike quality. There was a lot of uh, submerged head kind of characters. Drawing was like one of the only thing I was better compared to other people. I mean, I sucked at sports. I couldn't sing well, but I knew like drawing was like something I was good at. Growing up in Japan, uh, my life pretty much consisted of reading manga or like copying manga into a notebook. I like to have the nonchalant kind of a stance to the art. Like I don't consider myself as like, you know, the next generation of the contemporary artists. That's not my goal in a way. I'm pretty sure I'll be mature enough one day to be able to understand where the other artists are trying to do. But at this time, I like seeing art that can like, you know, puts me in a good mood. With this installation, uh, I called it uh, Home Away From Home. Uh, I wanted to create a type of installation that looked interesting from the far, but once you get close, like you get to find like a little bit more. I wanted to make something positive, something that could put a smile on your face. I thought it would be nice against like a starry night kind of background. Then you have this like section that's more like a like realistic sunset because everything else is like so surreal and like dreamlike. Giant Robot's been around for a long time and I've been a fan of it for a long time. Showcasing my art in the same space some of my favorite artists showed before. And to be part of like a Giant Robot's you know, history, it's kind of cool. I want to make art. When people look at it, they at least get something out of it. They just don't go like, what's this, you know? I don't want people to go to my show and coming out of the store and be like, what the fuck was that about? If people come to the show and they, you know, get out of GR like a little bit happier or even just with a smile, I think, you know, I did good. Well, I did well. Yeah.